Prince Heinrich XV of Rus Plauen, Viceroy of Lombardy Venetia, the 22nd of February 1751 to the 30th of August 1825, was the fourth of six sons born into the reigning family of the Principality of Rus. At the age of 15, he joined the army of Habsburg Austria and later fought against Ottoman Turkey. During the French Revolutionary Wars, he became a general officer and saw extensive service. He commanded a corps during the Napoleonic Wars. From 1801 until his death, he was proprietor inhaber of an Austrian infantry regiment. Prince Rus came to the attention of the Austrian emperor in his thirties. After distinguishing himself in battle against the Turks, the emperor promoted him to command an infantry regiment. He served against the French First Republic in the Flanders Campaign and received promotion to general. The year 1796 found him leading Austrian troops against the army of Napoleon Bonaparte. In the following year he commanded a division. In 1799 Prince Rus fought against France in Germany and Switzerland. He led a division in northern Italy during the 1805 war. In the Danube campaign of 1809, he started out leading a division and ended the war in command of a corps. In 1813, he led a successful diplomatic effort to cause the Kingdom of Bavaria to change sides and join the Allies against Napoleon. Into his 70s he served Austria in various military and civil positions. <laughs> Early career Heinrich XV was born into the House of Rus at Grise Castle on of February 1751. His parents Graf later Prince Heinrich XI Rus von Ober Grise (1722–1800) and Grafin Konradine Rus zu Kostritz (1719–1770) carried on the family tradition of naming all their male children Heinrich and numbering them consecutively. They duly named their six sons Heinrich the Twelfth through Heinrich the Seventeenth, while their five daughters were christened Emily, Frederick, Isabella, Marie, and Ernestine. Belonging to the Rus elder line, Heinrich the Fifteenth was entitled to be called Prince first, but he was not the reigning prince. That dignity was held by his surviving elder brother Heinrich the Thirteenth from 1800 to 1817. Heinrich the Fifteenth enlisted in the Austrian Macquire Infantry Regiment Number no. 35 in 1766. He, his father, and brothers became princes in 1778. When Maria Theresa died in 1780, and Joseph II of Austria became emperor in fact as well as name, Joseph favoured the young prince, promoting him to major in 1784. During the Austro-Turkish War 1787-91, the emperor appointed Rus to his staff. For notable service at the storming of Sabak in 1788, the emperor promoted the prince to Oberst colonel of the Wenzel Colorado Infantry Regiment No. 56. Rus fought at the Siege of Belgrade in the fall of 1789. <inaudible> <inaudible> French Revolutionary Wars <inaudible> War of the First Coalition In the spring of 1793, Prince Rus successfully defended a position against the French and received promotion to General Major in May. He served on the staff of Prince Hosius of Saxe Coburg Saalfeld and was present at the Battle of Avesnes le Sec on 12 September. In this action, Prince Johann of Liechtenstein and 2,000 cavalry crushed a force of 7,000 French troops, inflicting 2,000 casualties and capturing 2,000 more. At the beginning of 1796, Rus commanded an infantry brigade on the Upper Rhine. Bonaparte's victories over Johann Peter Beaulieu in April and May 1796 altered the strategic situation. When the Austrian High Command transferred Dagobert von Wormser from Germany to Italy, Rus and heavy reinforcements went with him. During the first relief of the Siege of Mantua, the 45-year-old prince led a brigade in Peter Kwastanovich's column on the west side of Lake Garda. At first, operations went well for the Austrians, but Bonaparte defeated Kwastanovich in the complex Battle of Lenato and forced him to retreat to Riva del Garda. At the height of the battle, on 3 August, Rus seized Desenzano del Garda, rescuing some recently captured soldiers belonging to Joseph Oxke's command. However, the proximity of superior numbers of French troops soon compelled him to retreat to Gavardo. During the Second Relief of Mantua, Rus led a 5,200-man brigade in Paul Davidovich's corps. 
His area of responsibility stretched from the northern tip of Lake Garda to Trento on the west side of the Adige River. On 3 September a 10,000-man French division led by Claude Belgrand de Vaubois drove his outposts out of Nago Torbole on the lake. An overconfident army command ordered him to attack the French the next day, but he admitted that this was not possible. In the subsequent Battle of Rovereto on 4 September, he defended the camp of Mori on the west bank, while his colleagues Joseph Vukasevich and Johann Spork held Marco on the east bank. Bonaparte, in greatly superior strength, routed Davidovich's corps and drove them north of Trento. In the Fourth Relief of Mantua, the new army commander Joseph Alvinci assigned Rus to command the largest column in his army, nearly 7,900 soldiers. Rus followed the west bank of the Adige, while Vukasevich's column marched on the east bank, and the rest of the army followed roads and trails farther west near Monte Baldo. During the Battle of Rivoli, the troops under Rus bravely fought their way out of the river bottom to the plateau against tenacious resistance. At this moment, a desperate French counterattack panicked some Austrians from the other columns and drove them to seek refuge in the river valley. Disordered by fleeing troops and attacked from two sides by the French, Rus' column retreated to the bottom of the gorge where their commander managed to rally them. With Rus checked, Bonaparte defeated the remaining Austrians on the plateau and won the battle. Rus was promoted to Feldmarschall Lieutenant on 1 March 1797. During the withdrawal from Italy that month, Rus led a division in the left wing under Archduke Charles, retreating to Ljubljana. Liebach. War of the Second Coalition On 25 and 26 March 1799, Rus fought under Archduke Charles at the Battle of Stockach and the Battle of Winterthur in May. He led a division of Archduke Charles's centre at the First Battle of Zurich in June. His immediate commander, Olivier, Count of Wallace received a mortal wound during the engagement. Between March and September 1800 he defended the Vorarlberg and the Tyrol. Emperor Francis II named him proprietor inhaber of Rus Plauen Infantry Regiment No. 17 in 1801. He remained the proprietor until his death. His brother Heinrich XIII was proprietor of Rus Grise Infantry Regiment No. 55 from 1803 to 1809, and Rus Grise Infantry Regiment No. 18 from 1809 to 1817. Topic. Napoleonic Wars Rus served under Archduke Charles in Italy during the War of the Third Coalition. The original organization of the Hermé von Italien called for Rus to command an eight battalion division. But at the Battle of Caldiero on 29 31 October 1805, Charles gave him command of the left wing. Rus played a prominent role in the fighting, commanding Johann Kalnassi's brigade of eight line infantry battalions, Hieronymus Colorado Mansfeld's brigade of five grenadier battalions, and the Archduke Charles Ulan Regiment No. 3. The fog lifted around 11 a.m. on 30 October and Rus troops were immediately assaulted by Guillaume Philibert Duhesme's division. Caldiero village, held by his troops, changed hands several times during the day, as Duhesme attacked and Rus counterattacked. The day ended with Caldiero in French hands, but the Austrian line intact. On 31 October, Rus repelled a French probe of the Austrian left flank. The next day, Charles withdrew to the east and no more major actions occurred in the campaign. The War of the Fifth Coalition found Rus leading a division in the V Army Corps under Archduke Louis of Austria. He commanded 12 battalions in the brigades of Federico Bianchi and Franz Schultz von Rothacker. In the campaign culminating in the Battle of Ekmel on of April, he fought at the battles of Abensburg and Landshut. He led an attacking column in a successful action at Neumarkt Sankt Veit on 24 April. He participated in the Battle of Ebersburg on 3 May. On 15 May, Rus received promotion to Feldzugmeister and was appointed to command V Army Corps. He missed the Battle of Aspern Essling because his troops were detailed to watch the Nussdorf sector. By the orders of Archduke Charles, his small corps also sat out the Battle of Wagram. Instead, they guarded the Danube River crossings to the west of the battlefield. His 8,958 troops included the brigades of Johann Neustadter, Philip Pfluger, and Johann Klebelsberg. On 10 July, Rus held off the pursuing French army in a successful rearguard action at Schongrabern. 
The following day, his corps participated in a much larger action at ZNAIM, where each side lost about 6,000 casualties. In the early hours of 12 July, both sides agreed to a ceasefire. For the actions of 10–11 July, Rus received the Knight's Cross of the Military Order of Maria Theresa. In 1813, he commanded the Army of the Danube, a corps of observation on the Bavarian frontier. On 8 October, he signed the Treaty of Ried with Karl Philipp von Ried, which resulted in the Kingdom of Bavaria switching sides and joining the Allies against Napoleon. This act earned him the Order of Leopold from Austria and the Military Order of Max Joseph from Bavaria. Russia honoured him with the Order of St. Alexander Nevsky. He was Governor of the Duchy of Milan and Viceroy of Lombardy Venetia in 1814-15, earning the Gold Medal for Civilian Service and the Order of the Iron Crown. Later he served as governor of Galicia. He was promoted Feldmarschall when he retired from the army on 10 September 1824. He died on 30 August 1825 at Grise Castle, having never married. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>